Looking for a way to keep draft beer ice cold for your parties? If you are, keep watching. Got an idea for you. Everyone, welcome back. It's Larry again. Today I'm going to talk about jockey boxes. Now, a jockey box, for those who don't know what a jockey box is, is a it's basically a device to chill keg beer down to serving temperatures from a warmer temperature. So you might have a keg sitting around the garage or out at a hot day at the picnic or someplace where you just don't have the the keg chilled and refrigerated uh, like you would in the kegerator, for example. So uh, rather than taking your kegerator with you on, on your trips to your parties and things or or having to buy a big tub and 30 pounds of ice to fill it up to wrap the keg in to, to keep it cold all you need is is a, a jockey box it's just a cooler with a tap in the front and a beer input in the back and inside this thing let me see if you can see this better here it's uh, it's just a, 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 a bunch of coiled copper tubing that the beer goes through and you fill this thing full of ice water uh, so as, as the beer passes from the back and passes through the, all the coils and then out to the tap, it can chill the beer easily 30, sometimes 40 degrees or more on the way out. So, so, so your keg doesn't even have to be like kept cold. You can actually just put the keg on the, on the floor um, next to this jockey box that's sitting on a table, run your beer line in, into the back, and uh, serve some cold beer. That's all you got to do. So here's the close-up of the inside of my jockey box, right? So what I've had here on the bottom of the screen is what's called a beer shank. And it's about four inches long. You drill a hole through the cooler to put this thing through. And the tap actually inserts from the outside in. And you fasten it with this little, uh, with this little, this, uh, this big nut that comes with it. And, and I connect the copper tubing with a little short length of, I think it's uh, one quarter ID vinyl tubing with some hose clamps. And a, and a wing nut and tailpiece combination with a with a rubber washer inside, which I can't dig out at the moment. But that would attach to here just like this and tighten it up real good. And it'll, and and it goes all through the coil and then back up to here with another short length of tubing, uh, some hose clamps and another wing nut with another washer here that goes into this wall coupling piece, which is got a nut on it as well on both sides and you have to also have to drill that hole through there well as, as well i think it's a seven, seven eighths inch hole i'm not quite sure right now but but then you do that and then on the outside is the other washer that clamps that clamps this thing under really good so now that you have your thread threads on the outside that's what your beer line connects to so you you depending on what kind of keg you have and things your connections might be a little different but again here i have a little washer and a wing nut and a little tailpiece piece and a, and a hose clamp for this for this end but I just screw that on like that until it's snug right and then the other side goes to your keg just like so now what you're looking here what, what you're looking at here is a home brewers uh, setup so this kind of keg is called a Cornelius style keg home brewers use it and it comes with its own special kind of uh, ball or pin lock kind of adapter like this just for that purpose but if you are using a keg from the liquor store and it's probably going to use a tapper that looks just like this and this is uh, called a Sankey tap system or tap whatever and it, the principle is the same all you got to do is attach the hose to the exit for your beer for your tap and you'll get the exact same effect so 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 now the beer will come out of here enter through the connection into your jockey box then through the coils and then right to your tap ice cold beer so there you go it's that simple uh, the small jockey box can save you time hassle uh, trips to the store all the above and uh, unfortunately the limitation with this is that there's only one tap on it so in a future video i'm going to be building a bigger better stronger two tap system so make sure you subscribe in order to see it all right, so thanks for watching. 
Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out other videos on my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe.